Hi, I'm Bill Dusty, and in this video, I'm going to provide you with a possible solution to your uh, DJI Go app crashing. So stay tuned. Hi, everybody. This is just going to be a quick video uh, to go over something that uh, I discovered and I thought I'd pass it along to you guys. Uh, a few days ago, my DJI Go app started crashing on me all the time. Um, you know, it would crash right when I started it up or it would last, you know, like 30 seconds or so and then crash as I was doing something. Uh, at first I thought it meant, might have been the connection in here or something or, you know, I was inside doing it. I wasn't outside or anything. Uh, and then I thought uh, that maybe it was the most recent update because this was about the time when uh, DJ came out with the update to the app that has those questions uh, for US users. Uh, so I went online uh, and I looked it up to see if I could find out a solution. And uh, sure enough, I wasn't the only one dealing with the, the app crashing. Uh, but also, uh, this has been a situation that's been going on for a lot of months now and probably longer. So that told me that it had, didn't really have anything to do with the most recent app update. And the solution that I had read on the forums was from one of the DJI tech guys was to delete the app and reinstall it. Uh, now, I didn't do that because I thought of something else instead. I thought, what if the app is just bloated with data or, or stored video or cached video? Because what a lot of people don't remember is because we're not we're not using the phone app to edit our video and then save it to the phone. We're actually using the SD card and the camera and then taking the SD card out and putting in our computer and using our favorite video editing software. But the DJI app stores the video on in the app so that you can edit it there. That's an option. So what I did was that I uh, went into the app and I cleared the cache while I was using it. I still had it on. So I went into the app and I cleared the cache and I'm gonna show you how you can do that uh, a little in just a minute. Uh, and then the other way you can do that, rather than if you have it on, you can do it, you can clear the cache, but you can also go into the editing part of the app itself and then delete the video from there. Now that's just the video that's on the phone in the, in the app. It's not the video that's on your SD card, so you're still good. Okay, so we're in the app, as you can see, and we got the video on. And uh, we're going to go to the top right here. We're going to click on the menu option here. And then we're going to scroll down until we see the uh, video options here, the video caching options. And then right there on the bottom there, you see it says clear video cache. And that's what you want to do. And that should solve your problems as far as uh, your app crashing if, in fact, uh, the bloated video situation is the problem. Uh, the other way to get to this, if you're not connected to your uh, your aircraft is you open the app you'll get to this screen here and then you click the editor button right there uh, and then I don't have any videos on here right now but if you had videos on here which you know uh, if you've been flying around and taking video you probably have a bunch of them you'll actually have an option here uh, right up top here that'll say manage you click that and then you can select the videos and then at the bottom here, there'll be a delete option and you can delete the videos from there. Okay, and that, and that should take care of your crashing problem uh, if in fact that was the reason for your app uh, crashing. Now, you'll also notice on this thing, if I can get it there right, on the uh, menu options, it does have down below here, DJI Works, DJI Import. And I'm assuming, I've never used these before, so I'm assuming that once you edit your video in the DJI Go app, you save them uh, to one of these folders here. But that's what they're for, I'm assuming. Okay, so that's really it. I just wanted to let you know what I found out about clearing the cache. Uh, hopefully it works for you. If it doesn't, you can try deleting and reinstalling the app. Uh, but that solution will work for me. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching it. If you liked it, please give it a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next time.